please give us a brief introduction to Assembly 64. Yeah, um, actually, uh, started uh, in 2016, I think it was, and uh, when I got hold of my first uh, Ultimate 2 from, uh, from Gideon. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at that time, it was uh, the micro USB card, which you have to pull in and out with a knife. So every time you had to uh, get new content, you had to uh, fiddle around with your knife to, to get the card out. And it was after 20, 30 times, it got quite boring. So I wrote a little script, a spindle that called uh, CSDB and game base. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, after that, it uh, grew totally out of hands, I would say. Uh, it was only meant for a script for me, but uh, uh, other people started to use it and uh, I started to uh, build up more and more systems around it, databases and uh, scripts and servers and uh, yeah, now it's, it's grown quite quite big in, uh, in a few different areas. It's, it's most, most of the people use it to download content and play it on an SD card. Um, that, that's the primary uh, reason for me to build it. Uh, but uh, the more interesting thing is that it, it has a feature where you can, uh, uh, s since I hold a lot of content, I can, uh, I can easily track which uh, content I have and which I don't have. So, so a lot of preservers use the tool to, to uh, examine their disks. Oh. And, um, and speed up their uh, preservation process since they don't have to uh, just around if, if the content is system. So that, that's uh, that's actually one of the the, the better things that, that it's it's used for in, in my opinion because it, it helps saving our lost data that we that we uh, keep in our disk boxes and then uh, in different places. It also has uh, quite extensive uh, integration uh, towards uh, Gideon's ultimate products, which is uh, quite nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so uh, this summer, I, I decided to uh, to switch out the splash screen that I uh, that has served for a few years, and uh, I, I asked the Sarge if he wanted to draw something. Uh, mm -hmm. So he uh, he draw uh, he draw the current. Uh, Splash screen, which, which is uh, really nice. That's and the perfect uh, way to make someone overachieve. Go to the rival uh, gang and ask them to participate in your project. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we wanted to keep it uh, made in Sweden. So, uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? So, uh, yeah, you can continue, Joachim, if you want to. Yeah. Um, Scooby asked me to do the splash screen and um, that was the uh, February, March this year, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I drew it and uh, yeah, it was, uh, Scooby was satisfied with it. And um, later on, he asked if I would, would uh, like to redesign some icons and stuff in the user interface. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started to thinking about uh, the whole design of the, the UI design of the application. And um, I thought there was a possibility to make it a bit easier to use for, for the general public. Uh, mm -hmm. I had an idea that you could browse the database for like it was a, some kind of Spotify. Mm. Um, and just click around and uh, with the arrow keys up and down and uh, immediately see screenshots and uh, database information uh, without opening further windows and stuff. So you could just browse around and find stuff very easily. Um, and I did some mockups. Uh, on how I thought it should work. And uh, Scooby said, uh, this looks really nice. And um, I guess that was a bit more 
than he expected because he said later, oh, I had to rewrite the whole application. <laughs> but at the same time, he was happy because he said he had a lot of code that um, uh, had become a bit spaghetti. And um, um, so he was happy to start all over again with the application. Um, yeah, he so, was happy to start all over again with the application. Yeah. <laughs> Not much else. Yeah. At least he said to me he was happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I totally get it. Yeah, yeah because it, it's uh, it's four years of uh, ad hoc coding and uh, mm -hmm. a product changes quite a lot in, in time. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's it was. Uh, this, this product is not what was built 2016. It, it has mm. changed in a lot of ways. Yeah. I uh, rem remember when you showed me it at GubData 2017, maybe. And it yeah. was just a little application in the taskbar or something. Yeah. Um, so it has uh, developed into something much bigger. Um, yeah, well, we have worked the whole year back and forth. Um, me making icons and mockups and thinking about how to use it and uh, Scooby has been very very quick implementing new ideas and stuff mm -hmm. so it has been an extremely satisfying project in that regard uh, because I get feedback immediately and he gets stuff from me immediately so yeah, yeah. Uh, there has be really has really hasn't been any downtime in this uh, this project no. no pause that's awesome yeah that's the way i like to work yeah you um seem to be getting a no you not seem to you are getting a lot of praise in the stream here for the product and uh um, oh nice so it's it's obviously something uh, that people want and people enjoy uh agree that assembly 64 is a godsend thank you scooby it's uh one of the definitely um thank you better um I mean that that is, that is quite good feedback too, yeah. uh, and also uh, there was a mention here which reminds me time to gift donate more money to Scooby for Assembly sixty four. So, if you want to be part of this uh, and uh, actually support this to support the scene, how do you uh, go by doing that? Yeah, there is a there is a PayPal link. Yeah. You can support. That's awesome. So, yeah. would you like to post the PayPal link in our chat uh, for the stream you channel it later on? On the yeah. Facebook page, if you want to. So yeah, excellent. I think it's important uh, to just, you know, keep the scene alive, and uh, it seems like you're very much doing that in um, uh, maintaining this product. What's, what's in it for uh, 2021 then? Uh, now, Giant leap in 2020. What's happening in the future? Uh, I really don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of don't. I, I kind of know. I, I know Joachim has a few ideas how we. I mean, we we haven't actually rewritten the entire application. There are there is a seed player that's up next uh, that we will uh, reskin. Uh, mm. But um, you have to recode it from the scratch. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> I, I've been busy writing a lot of uh, new frameworks on top of uh, on top of the. It's written in Java FX, but uh, so, so now it's ex extremely component wide co component -fied. So so uh, so it's extremely uh, easy to write new stuff and uh, new mm -hmm. views and so. So uh, hopefully uh, most of the work is done already and. Uh, it, it, Development goes quite fast now. It was a uh, quite heavy start uh, yeah. because I, I had to basically throw away most of the stuff and uh, come up with new frameworks with, which could uh, cope with uh, Sarge's ideas. So, uh, so that took some time. But w when that was in place, it was uh, quite easy just to to uh, to implement new modules. It's like yeah, basically like a widget system or, or uh, yeah, we could yeah. say that. Okay. So it's like it's it's written as a giant state machine, basically. Mm -hmm. 
I have never asked you, Scooby, if you is if this was something you expected when uh, you asked me to re redesign some icons. <laughs> no, no, no. I really now I realize that you're the you're the crow that that grabs hold of me, which is the logo assembly logo. I didn't. I've seen that now. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not a crow. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a bird. Uh, it's it, uh, we have discussions what what it is, but it's uh, it's a scotta. in Sweden. Uh, and and that's a mag magpie in uh, English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Magpie collect, collects yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. So from that to the magpie. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, been a fun uh, cooperation. Yeah, it's extremely yeah. satisfying. This is the way I love to work. Yeah, sounds great. So, um, yeah, so, thank you so much, guys, for being here with us. And uh, make sure to post the link both to uh, the product, how we find it, and uh, also how we keep supporting it. Because uh, everyone out there, please do so. Go out there and uh, keep those great projects alive and I just have to share a little bit from the chat here uh, from uh, Razorback he says the Sarge looks a bit too much in shape I suspect he hired a stand-in to take his place in the stream <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, Stripe Cat <laughs> replies yep Russian clone but Putin says it's great so <laughs> <laughs> yep Thank you guys so much for being with us tonight and uh, good luck with future projects and uh, see you again um, you sooner or later. Thank you for an awesome party. Thanks so much. Uh, have a nice evening and uh, yeah, take care. The same to you. Bye bye. bye.